I'm ready. All right. Is it in the disc? It's the it's disc. In the disc. It's a yep. format disc. Yep, it's a PlayStation format disc. Oh man, I, I I'm really excited because I've like I said I've definitely tried this game before in a few different occasions, uh -huh. but I've just never I I couldn't even tell you how it starts or what yeah. happens. I know there's a car. <laughs> well, I I remember a few months ago I you were talking about your job and for some reason. It made me think of the opening song to this game, and I sent it to you, and you had no idea what even the music of this game was like. And I was like, yeah, you, 8 has its faults, but its music is fucking yeah. rad. So you're going to see that here in a moment. <clears throat> Squaresoft. Remember when we made games every one to two years? <laughs> and when you got really excited to see this logo? It's also a lot louder. You can see right away with the... Aw, oh, yeah. What a badass. I'm gonna suck his dick. Don't even need to see the face. Just show me the yeah. belts. Show me them butts. Show me them calves. Send me them boots. And uh, that whip. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Yeah. You can see right away just from the text that they're using that they've refined the process a lot. Because mm. if you think about the text as it appeared in uh, 7 for this sort of stuff, it was very big. Yeah. And like very, <clears throat> I want to say low res, like it was a certain size and they blew it up. Mm. Whereas this, it's it's like they got a hold of things down to the point where they're like, oh, even, our, even their text is much more sharp, let alone yeah. their character models, <clears throat> which again, your idea that maybe the models in 7 are supposed to be reminiscent of the models from the 16-bit era makes me think that their look is more intentional and not simply them getting used to yeah. You know the new technology, but I think it was a lot of them getting used to new technology as well, which they certainly were by this point Because even the pre-rendered models from 7 don't hold a candle to what we're seeing here Yeah, the uh, end credit scroll of 7 was for how great the ending was. Uh -huh. It's like these big red letters. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's a little... Yeah, you didn't you didn't get the best, you know... Yeah, even... <laughs> even down to the point... Even down to the point of graphical design, this is, mm. you know, head and shoulders above 7. <clears throat> also, just us coming off of 7, going into this, knowing, yeah. that, knowing that Square Enix had to follow up, you know, with... They had to come up with something after seven. Well, I like, I have to wonder at one point seven became the game to follow up. Yeah. Right. It it was. I imagine they could look at sales and go, wow, wow, wow. But I imagine this came out in '99, two years after seven came out. I don't think enough time had passed for seven to be the cultural touchstone mm. that it is. To, it was getting to that point where it was the cultural touchstone for the PlayStation era and RPG fans of our age and our time. Um, but I don't think it was there yet. And 8 had to have been in production before 7 even came out, obviously. Like, it's one of those things you look at the years of production when the game starts and you say, okay, like, production on this started in 96, I think? So 7 came out in 97, so there's still a year yeah. left in production for this. So this was in development before 7 was even finished and in the public mind at all. You can tell this is when they obviously started to really care about the style of the characters. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because that's all they're showing yeah. off right now is like, look at the look at the style. Uh -huh. Like, look at their clothes. You don't even need to see their faces. Yeah. It also looks like they might, uh, this is might be where they started boobing it up a bit. Just kind of giving some boobs. Really some um, emphasis on the sexy ladies. I mean, Tifa... But well, Tifa was... <clears throat> Chief, Tifa was very top-heavy. Very chesty, but here I'm a little stuffed up all of a sudden. Um, actually, here the the female, yeah, I'm again. Uh, here the female character models are very almost like we were talking about Tifa at the end of our seven, like how in her future model she was more. Oh, okay. They they range her. I'm trying to think of a good way to say this. Basically, they range her breast size in. Yeah. Uh, here the the breasts on the female characters are reasonable. They're not like huge or 
non-existent or anything like that. They have them. They're not really a huge focus. Actually, I think you, I think you will especially enjoy the way that the female members of the party are built. Yeah. Especially Quistus, I think. <laughs> Wow, already pretty good step up in yeah for the presentation yeah. and the fact that the music is actually recorded mm -hmm. and it's amazing already. Like this is one of the few games I own, paid money for the soundtrack of. Oh wow! I just it's it's super good. By the way, uh, this playthrough is going to be different because unlike the other Final Fantasies up to this point, we were recording this one with our commentary live. Uh, before, I have pre-recorded the gameplay, cut the episodes down, and then we've recorded our dialogue over it. Uh, this will be different. We are playing this and recording in real time, so the editing style will need to be different. Um, I won't leave in everything. We'll try to make a point of talking mostly when stuff is going on. Mm -hmm. Just so conversations don't end and then don't end midway or start at the midpoint or anything like that. And also make it don't make it a lot easier for me to edit. Yeah. Where's a waveform? Perfect. But uh, we'll see how it pans out. It's kind of I'm sure a few episodes in it'll start to It'll show we'll get back itself. to our rhythms and the people watching, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll I'll find an editing rhythm. Yeah. Now, I said this game had to have been in production while, or before 7 had come out, but I do feel like 7 must have had an influence over the later stages of this production, because even a game of this scope, I think, back in the late 90s, game development was agile enough that you could make significant changes and still have a quality product at the end. It wasn't the sort of thing like, well, our pre-production has to be locked in five years ahead of time because this game's gonna cost $200 million to make, and we can't afford to change yeah. anything. Oh, I'm gonna cut you. Do you think these four characters are going to be important to each other's lives? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> There's one hugging the other in the most intimate hug I've ever seen. Yeah. Squall's arms have to be inhumanly long to hug her like that. <laughs> Just, yeah, I was bred for hugging, I was, baby. I was bred for strong, tender embraces. And that's just what I'll do one day. I'm going to hug all over you. Yeah, this looks like a like fucking Doesn't Dino look, Crisis it or does, something. My, my forehead hurts. My forehead stings. <laughs> yeah, let's if we ever get the option to make him sound more po faced, yeah. let's make him more po faced and pathetic. <laughs> no kidding, you guys got. Yeah, I was um, I was I was playing the last dungeon in this game, back in like two, 99 or two thousand. I'm just going to keep them. Yeah, let's just keep the names because you're not familiar with this yeah. game. So you should just know what they're called. Default. That's good that there's a default button. What is that? What oh, it? God. It's um, circle? Square? Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, confirm. Yeah, <laughs> I was okay. Like, I was like, default. Deep, oh, no. We'll need to change the controls because they're not even like what they were in 7. And they're not like any other RPG I've ever played. I think circle brings up the menu. Um, we'll have to change the triangle. But you, you said this looked like Dino Crisis, and um, I was playing this back in the summer of 99 or 2000, when my my mom's brother, so my uncle, uh, and my cousins came to visit, and I was showing this game to my cousin, and as I was playing it, my uncle came in. He's like, oh, I love this game. I play it all the time. And he picks it up, and he starts moving around. He's like, wait a minute. This isn't Resident Evil 2. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not the Leon. Yeah. Although he is called Leon in Kingdom Hearts for some reason. What? Yeah, what is up with that? I don't know. I never figured <laughs> that one out. Look at my dumb bandage that everyone who gets injured in Japan has. <laughs> no matter what the injury, it's just yeah. a bandage around the head that allows for the hair to come out. This is Quistus. 
Um, of course, it's super hot. I was going to say, I think you're going to dig her build. <laughs> like, her in particular, especially when she gets her, like, rest of the game clothes and doesn't yeah. have on her seed uniform right here. Where it's just, like, the long brown kind of almost prairie skirt that, like, goes down to her calves mm. and then her boots just touch the, the skirt so she really elongates her torso. Oh, man. I yeah. love, them, love them long ladies. Mm-hmm. She's a long rectangle. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? Going this way, lady? Like the uh, yeah. She knows he's such a po-faced bastard that she knows exactly what he's going to say at any moment. <laughs> I'm a but, deep person, lady. Your level of your level of internal complexity is <clears throat> inversely proportional to how often you tell people how complex you are. <laughs> okay, you don't get points for predicting that one. It's like he, it's not like he's yeah. gonna say it's none of your sandwich. <laughs> I wish he said sandwich. Like, <laughs> yeah. I got you. See <laughs> depth. I got you, bitch. <clears throat> wow. This already, is impressive, isn't it? Already, yeah. It's yeah. Just like, Oh, wow, Square Enix. Not not only that it looks so much better, but that they're able to transition seamlessly from... You still had Squall even as it was trans... Control over mm. Squall even as it was transitioning. So for a moment you could have seen his ugly bean face amid all these beautiful Adonises. See, and I was uh, really anxious to see this game because I wanted to see how clearly the more detailed characters read at such uh -huh. a low res. Yeah. And it looks fine. It does. It reminds me, the look kind of reminds me of like Another World. Mm -hmm. Um, You know that, you know that game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got it over yeah. there. Yeah, that one that everything can fucking kill you. Yeah. It kind of looks like that sort of like, I don't know, thin, like pixel art-ish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's obviously they're 3D models, but uh -huh. they look a lot flatter in a way. <clears throat> or like the what's it called, Super Brothers LP or Sword oh, and Sorcery? Oh, Sword and Sorcery, yeah, yeah. 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 So the, the basic setup is that um, all these kids are in a mercenary school called Seed. And they aren't actually Seeds yet. Uh, they need to go take some exams where they can be official members. Which is what you're going to be spending the first few hours of this game mm -hmm. doing. And that's the asshole who sliced your pretty, pretty face up. But gave you a pretty, pretty scar. Yeah, and I got a cool scar, man. I wish I had a cool scar. Not like one of those scars that makes people afraid of you. But one of the scars where people are like, oh man, I bet he had a troubled past they had to get over. Oh, I bet he's kind of broken though. I can fix him. I can fix him. I can do it if I just if I could just yeah. get through. And Quistus is gonna go with us to our first uh, exam. The cipher cut my yeah. fucking face. See, so they must have they must have been having a very very early morning sword fight, because you get a lot done today. And he had time to get injured and be knocked out unconscious on the uh, infirmary bed. I'm not hey. going to access no study panel. No, no, you need to. I do? Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't tell they don't tell you why, but you need to because it contains uh, your first two guardian forces, which is what are called summons in this game. Let me retread that sentence. It gives you your first two guardian forces, which is what summons are called in this game. <laughs> Turn the power on, and apparently he's related to Sloth from Full Metal Alchemist. Ask him to do anything, just what a pain. Oh my god. Um, do where do you need to go? T um, tutorial, yeah. Squall, GF Data. He has two. Unfortunately, he just keeps them in his computer somehow, and not on his person. Even though, as they explain later, guardian forces kind of, like, occupy your mental space? Hmm. Not physical space? I don't, I don't know! Let's get going. Right. Now, you can, now, now, finally, you fucking leave this room. <laughs> Already, it's like, oh, oh. It, it's a lot to just pour on someone, like, uh, brown sugar. Like, like, uh, you know... 
cafeteria <laughs> is one thing. Yeah. But this is like, oh, ooh, ooh. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Burp. He just n elbow checks yeah. her. <laughs> You're the song silent type. Can I suck your dick? Oh, what am I thinking? So I have the guide here, but I don't think we'll really need it. Except for maybe a few parts. Yeah, and I'm just gonna choose the most asshole response. Yeah. Oh yeah, for certainly. Me. Yeah. yeah, my head hurts. My no, my forehead. So it's my forehead hurts. My forehead stings. I just ran through here. Do you think you can give me a quick tour of this garden? Fuck, I'm busy. Don't I have don't the have the time. The time. We're on. A, we're on an LP. You literally don't have the time. Oh bummer, that's too bad. I was gonna I show you. I was gonna show you my butts. You can kind of see it right now, Wait, actually. Butts. Plural. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You must come from the north. <laughs> Talk to that guy real quick. Oh yeah, there's the card game. There's the here. card game. We're not gonna play. Because it's not as good as in 9, that's what I've heard. Mm, it's not. Here's what... It's more complicated than 9's card game, but there are a lot of bullshit rules which completely ruin it. And you start off with a nice, basic set of rules. Each area you go to has new rules unique to that area. Oh. But you pick up rules like a virus. And then when you play people in other places, they're like, Oh, we're gonna adopt this rule! So like, no! No! <laughs> and some of them are so bad. One of them is... One of them is your hand is picked completely at random. Another is you don't get to see the cards in your hand. Oh, jeez. You don't get to see them until you play the card. Alright, and he's... Oh, shit! Hold on, hold on, more administrative needs to be done. Let me see this. <laughs> oh, you gotta make the card. I gotta make the card. We'll be right back! Be whoop! Thank God. And we're back! <laughs> Here you go. Alright. Got six cures. So yeah, that's the one thing I... Uh, the other thing I remember, besides mashing square for summons, is... You have to stock up on your magic. Yeah. Guess what we're gonna take a quick break to do as soon as we leave this fucking place? Hmm. Stock up on magic. Nice. So yeah, there's her normal outfit. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how... I'm not quite certain how you put on shoulder-length gloves, or why you wouldn't just wear sleeves at that point. Because <laughs> you, you want the breathing in the pits, maybe. I just gave us a junction tutorial. Fuck off. Oh, well, so this is how you control the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. I wanted to use the analog sticks yeah. so bad, and this is <laughs> strange. Yeah. So if you run along that paved... That's actually a paved road. If you run along that, you won't get into any encounter. So get off that road. Yeah, I want to encounter everything. Yeah, we'll get into one encounter. I'll show the draw Ooh. system real quick. Then oh. we'll, we'll take a recording Ooh. break. I know, it looks like a glitch, but it's not. It just looks real bad. Get- run! Oh no! No, run! Run away! Is it to hold the buttons? Yeah. Hold down the- yeah. T-Rex R, <laughs> yeah! Yeah. No! Okay, get the fuck out of that forest. <laughs> it's just a T-Rex hanging just... <laughs> out outside the school, outside the campus! There's one There's... in the- they're in the school too! Oh my god! <laughs> well, I wanna Don't... fight something that's not a T-Rex. Okay, here, I can handle a bug. Yeah, here's a bug. Here's a bug-o. Draw some magic from this bug-o. Oh, uh, when Squall does his attack, if you pull R1 just as his hit, as his blade strikes the enemy, he'll pull the trigger for extra damage. Oh, cool. Oh, Quist, well, we'll junction something to Quistus after this. Oh, you can't, like, swap who you want um, to, Um, uh... try square? Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, uh, stock. St stock allows you to stock up on it, cast, you'll cast it right then and there. Um, until you've identified a spell, until you've had at least one stock of it from any source, you won't know what a spell is when you go to draw it from an enemy. So you see now it says fire, and then when you go stock this one, it will be, I want to say thunder or ice. Oh, scam. So these things are good for fire and scam. Now just... Now kill, just fuck no, it up. Now just kill it, and then we'll take a quick recording break, and I'll stock us up on stuff. Did like, I do it? Did that was that the thing? That's the thing. Is there an indicator that like shows you that you, to when to press, or you just gotta learn? You the just animation? gotta learn it. Yeah. yeah. Is the window of opportunity pretty wide, or is it? It's 
it's it's fairly liberal. Ooh, holy pee. Okay, so we're gonna stock up some on some stuff, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 